the elections in India is around April May of 2024 now this will definitely have a major impact on the stock market and your investments and looking at the markets now i think we can clearly see this impact after the recent results of state elections one year before the 2014 elections nifty rose by 20% and in 2009 in just one month before the elections it rose by 28% this relationship between the stock market and elections has been there for a very very long time and today we will discuss 20 years of this relationship and how it can benefit investors like me and you a quick disclaimer that anything mentioned in this video does not represent my political bias or my preference for any political party it's all all on the basis of statistics and data that we have and my opinion on what i feel is good for the stock market before elections there's mostly a lot of uncertainty and because of such political instability many investors choose to go with a wait and see kind of an approach which i don't think is good at all now look at this data here i've shown the data of how the stock market has performed one year and one month before the elections now one thing that we can clearly make out of this is that nifty has given an average return of 29.1% one year before the elections and 6% in the month leading up to the elections Obviously there were fluctuations here and there for example before the election in 2009 nifty was down 24% in one year that was also because of the impact of the financial crisis in 2008 but then it compensated and grew more than 27 28% in just one month before the elections recently i made a short video on the state election results and how that can lead to a faster bull rally and now we can see that those results led to the market shooting up to nifty shooting up from 19000 level to 21000 now many of you might say ki ye rally to ho gayi many stocks have already touched their all time high ab kya what to do next so right now we have around 5 to 6 months before the elections so let's also see how the market has usually performed 6 months before the elections This is the data which includes Nifty's returns 6 months before the elections. Look at this and you will see that even if we become very conservative, Nifty has given an average return of around 15% in these 6 months, which will take Nifty to 23,000. I know that history might not repeat itself, but I am extremely optimistic and I do believe that Nifty will touch 23,000 in the coming months. One thing I know is that India is an emerging economy and we will continue to show incredible growth in the coming years, but can we speculate as to which party out of bjp congress aam aadmi etc winning will have a much more positive impact on our economy and our stock market now to be honest the stock market does not really care which party wins the election but what does it actually care about just one thing stability from 1980 to 2023 the government has seen 11 changes with coalition forming eight times however since 2014 bjp has been in clear majority now what does this show political stability which is not easily possible through coalitions coalitions can definitely lead to some great changes and reforms but it can also slow down economic growth when compared to countries like china and right now our economy has been flourishing with an average gdp growth of around 7.5% Nifty Sensex both have given insane returns this decade. Nifty is up from 6000 to 21000. Sensex is up from 22000 to 69000. What does this all indicate? Economic stability. Along with all of this, the political stability that our country has seen under the current Prime Minister Modi has given space for many more great reforms and improvements in different areas. Be it legal reforms, improvement in welfare systems, India's successful Chandrayaan mission, a massive upgrade in our infrastructure sector, more focus on renewable energy, becoming self-reliant or atmanir but by focusing heavily on defense manufacturing successfully hosting events like G20 overall putting india on the global map how is all of this possible it's all the result of economic and political stability which again is what is needed for the stock market to flourish and run in the long run now as i said markets love stability and this is why nifty and all other investments went crazy when bjp won state elections in 3 out of 4 states because that's where the stock market sees more stability and that's what helps it grow now not just indian investors but if we talk about fis they also prefer a safe stable environment or country to make their investments philip capital recently said that fis are only going to come back to india when there is political stability which everybody is right now seeing by bjp winning the 2024 elections recently jeffries another investment banking company said that they expect a 25% fall in nifty if the 2024 elections saw a change in government so they are also seeing a very good chance of bjp winning the elections for political and economic stability now let's come to sectors which outperform and underperform in elections we will cover historical trends which have been going on since years and then also the current trends which sectors can perform well according to the current trends of the market looking at history we have seen that pharma and the auto industry have shown amazing performance in the post election periods 
then PSUs and private sector banks have shown stable and consistent growth. And lastly, on the opposite side, there is IT and the metal sector, which have usually underperformed after elections. Now, history doesn't reveal itself completely, so we cannot just blindly follow history without understanding what's happening right now. So coming to the current trends in the market, now mid and small cap stocks have already given a huge rally this year. But now there are some large cap stocks which are still underperforming despite having great business and great fundamentals. These include companies like Reliance, uh, Aicha Motor, Kotak, HDFC Bank. I think in sab ke mein I've been talking on Instagram since a very long time now. So from my analysis, I think that yes, we obviously have some small and mid cap stocks which can give great returns even now. But broadly, the large cap stocks might drive the rally in Nifty and the overall stock market now. Now coming to Nifty at the time of recording this video, it is around 20,900. Looking at the charts, I can easily see that 21,500 can be a very good possible short term target. More chances of it happening this month only, in December. May. And then we can see a pre budget rally. Now, elections are going to happen, so the budget will be more than a little all of this could definitely drive Nifty to the 22,000 level. Lastly, what should you do? So first of all, many investors think that it's good to stay out of the market because of all the uncertainty and volatility before the elections. But please do not do that. Try thinking long term, have a long term vision when it comes to investing, especially before and after the elections. Of short term volatility will be there as the voting day comes closer and closer. But the market tends to stabilize sooner than you think and then you might not be able to catch the rally. Investing before the elections will give you an upper hand in grabbing all the positive shifts and changes which can happen in the market again just like it happened with state elections. Second is to capitalize on the post-election reforms. Now elections usually lead to a policy change which can affect specific stock sectors. For example, let's say BJP wins the election and announces to focus a lot more on the renewable energy sector. That will lead to stocks of that sector flourishing better or performing better. What I'm trying to say is that it's better to stay invested than to miss out on such good opportunities because of fear. Third is to stay calm during fluctuations. Let's say if the stock market takes some sort of a hit or falls after the elections. Well, the chances come, but nifty falls, your portfolio goes down, etc. Instead of thinking about selling everything and panicking, think about your long-term investing goals. And also always have some cash in hand and some steady flow of income to infuse in the market. Focus on India's growth story, which is anyway extremely hard to ignore right now. So FIS have become net buyers. Recently, they added more than 13,000 crore in just six days in December. Total FI inflow this financial year in 2023, it has been more than $12 billion. So the massive confidence with not just India, but the entire world has on the Indian economy, it will further boost investments in all different asset classes, including equities, including the stock market. So if the entire world is betting on the Indian economy, why are you not? And what are you waiting for? I believe that most of you have already been investing, but if you're still sitting with a wait and see kind of an approach, then I'm sure that you will keep waiting and you will look at Nifty reach 23,000 and look at all your stocks reach new all-time highs. About the elections, I personally think that the chances of BJP continuing to stay in power are a lot, lot higher and that will only lead to a much more politically and economically stable environment, which will lead to be a key driver for the Indian growth story. Let me know your views and which party do you think has a higher chance of winning this election. If this video helped you in any way, you can consider liking and subscribing to this channel.